everyone and we're with more Star Wars Rogue. A little sci-fi roguelike with some pretty nifty ideas. If everything goes correctly, it should be our probably our last run of Star Wars Rogue. It has a lot of content going on, and we're not gonna be playing through all the content, but at least want to see the seven full runs, which we are on now. This should be our seven full runs starting. I'm go fight the mini boss right away. Yeah, why not? That missile back though. We'll fight our mini boss right away. We're the treasure hunting rogue. Treasure rogue. Treasure hunting robot. This is. Oh, run away! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, ah, ah! Get away from me! <laughs> okay, it's one of these mini bosses. The movie mini bosses. The puzzle mini bosses, which are actually pretty, pretty cool idea. One of the good, good ideas. Let's talk about this. roguelike has some good ideas. This is one of them. Bosses they don't actually fight, but you just kind of have to move correctly against what I get for that. Increase fire rate by 20%, decrease damage by 10%. Alright. More DPS. DPS upgrade. Not an ex particularly exciting one. And our secret room, which never seems to actually be hidden. Regenerate one health for every new room. Maps. And 20 energy. Nope, these all seem like trash. Especially because the energy costs on these items is so obscene that I have little interest. Little interest in pursuing those. Hey buddy, what's our energy weapon again? Oh, it's the machine gun thing. Uh, uh saw bolts. Yeah, it's, the, it's that thing. That, that's a fun weapon. Burt. Burt gun. Alright, let's get a massive, get our massive damage upgrades like like usual, and then just crush it. Pretty good to me. We have our item sword, right? Do want to look for HP upgrades though? HP shards. The real, real big motivator for actually exploring everything. It did there's still enemies? Come on. The large rooms though, big demotivator. Some of these rooms get really tedious real fast. Double healing, double health shards, double health shards, always double health shards. There's just more HP upgrades. Which not only makes us then, you know, invulnerable, almost. Uh, more importantly, we can get some decent deal with the devil items. That health cost is insane for most of those. Hey, health shards. We can speak of the devil. Even more health shards, alright. Just, yeah, just keep throwing them at me. Yeah, I'll just spray, use my spray and pray weapon instead of aiming. Sounds fair to me. Oh, we have a shield. Okay, this bot does have a shield. Shields, really important. Really, really helpful. It makes this, gives a little bit of leeway in taking damage. That was a lazy missile. I'll admit that immediately. Eh. Yeah, just teleport right next to me. Oh, no worries. Do we damage upgrade? New gun? New gun. The Battle Stomper. Oh, that's new for us. Yeah, let's play with that. Health upgrade storage? I need a keycard for that. Are you selling keycards, sir? You are not selling keycards. Increase max energy, increase movement speed, or oh, just a health upgrade. We only buy one of these. Uh, increase max energy because it's more shots with our gun. Let's go try to find a key card so we can get that health upgrade. Storage. And we're messing with our new machine gun. Seems okay. You're the turrets that only fire when we fire our main weapon. Don't be careful about spamming our weapon. No, oh, yeah, just run to the mine. No worries. Keycards? No keycards. Keycards, keycards, keycards. Looks like we don't get any keycards unless the boss gives a keycard. Unless the boss gives a keycard, then we will not be getting our free HP. Which kind of sucks, but at least we had the HP shard upgrade. Hell shard upgrades, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna sprint right to our boss room. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the door. Thank you. Mirror mark one. Mirror? Mirror, I don't recognize you, honestly. No offense. Don't really recognize this fight. 
Also, this gun sounds real funny. I feel like, yeah, the sound effect is way off of the animation. Alright, well, you know, this is, uh, it's, there could be some polish here, but we already knew that. Alright, mirror boss, I don't know why you're, like, the worst. Are you even trying? Have I fought this guy before? Because I feel like I'll remember a boss that's, like, that lame. Uh, 10% cool base damage, yes, please. Or max health. Eh, base damage. I like some more damage. Reduce fire rate, but boost damage. Okay, then we just recently have reduced damage, but increased fire rate. And then we had another damage, so I think it's a net gain, I'm pretty sure. Net gain in stats. What is that, Robot Man? Oh, I'm so excited. I want to see who that is. That's the Warden. But like I said, this is our first 7 floor run. Without using any consumables. What counts as a consumable? Are missiles consumable? I would assume so, because you consume them. I guess that's what's going for, but then we don't get we don't get any HP for them, so I'm missing I'm just straight up missing out on HP. That revives us if we die, pretty lame. I would rather just have somebody else us not die in the first place. Well, I also don't like shooting the door because my gun is awkwardly in the wall. I took damage. Can't believe it. We already got the achievement for doing a perfect floor. No, that was really that wasn't any kind of skill, I just we had a really short floor one time. You stop, we stop. <laughs> Can't just shoot a wall in this tiny area that I can't evade from. I hate this room. This room's super lame. Just, just, just get out of here. Just save me. That more dudes to fight. Okay. Really hate that your part of your mech, that your gun gets stuck in the wall that you're next to, and it shoots the wall. That's always super frustrating. Whenever games do that. Oh, I forgot this room is just full of HP, so we're fine. I need to open something. The key guard be consumed, right? Just cannot open. It. I don't think this quest. This quest doesn't seem worth it, really. So I don't think we're gonna be sticking to it if I have any any reason not to. We'll stop bouncing. So here. Hey. Gold, blue, pearl, observer, whatever your name was. Fire can be very annoying because it's a little persistent. What? Looks like the missiles don't count as consumables. I just used it. Skipping floors seems kind of like Isaac and all other roguelites, like just the opportunity cost. Shop here. Be smooth speed. Reveal some locations. Shop item and boss room. Is that just on the floor? Or is that forever? We'll take both. Give us some mapping and a little bit extra speed. And now I have no money. It's not really any reason to go to those other shops. Let's so just go to the boss room, I suppose. You might be missing out on a mini boss room, though. Mini bosses obviously give us some nice stuff. And of course, health shards. Eh. Oh, those are the secondary weapon hurts. We want to avoid using our secondary weapon for a little bit. But just don't just hang out in the corner and make me find you. Uh, yeah, this one's super good. But now our. We'll just go through everything. Damage yourself to go on a frenzy for 15 seconds. Okay, so all I do is damage myself. Got it. Because I wasted the frenzy part. Might have been active for a little bit. Hey, secret root. Angel wings? Invincible for 5 seconds. Or the skeleton keycard, which I never don't have that many issues with keycards, and being invincible for a few seconds doesn't seem as useful as just having that amount of HP, so I'm just going to gonna leave. Oh, Master, hello, hello. 
Master's pretty easy, we just gotta be on the right side of him. Ooh. And follow us, Wall Master. What do you got for me? Destruction module, deal 40 times base damage. Or should we just take the revival? Driving at full health, that seems really good. Temporary damage boosts. I know I'm just saying like I'd rather have something that keeps me from dying in the first place, but I mean I'm gonna use it on a boss, so either we kill the boss more quickly or I just come back to life. And against the new boss, probably better to come back to life than I can have the first fight is like a mulligan practice fight, learn his patterns, and then come back after we die for like a real real fight. But to make it to the next floor without taking any damage. Without taking any damage in any way. That seems unlikely. Try it, of course. It's, it seems unlikely. In fact, it's just gone away. I ran into a bullet immediately. These guys, the ankle biters, their attack's kind of weird. Frequently throw me off. Also, our damage seems to be waning. I think it's more, a little bit more damage. I appreciate it. A little bit more damage. This, none of these are damage. None of these seem that useful at all. Uh, small chance to regenerate recharge shields? Ah, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty lame choice though. Which recharging shields on kill would be useful, but it's just such a small, it's like a 5% chance. That's so minuscule. I'm not very worried about it. Wait, you a mini boss? How <laughs> many shots are you gonna take? Hey, he's doing some really not obnoxious attacks. He needs to die. Our damage does feel not great. Like a little, a little bit more oomph. That was a pretty good room. Apparently still not over who is possibly alive. Go away, shoe. I like these bullets persist for a long time. Go down so I can actually not sprint everywhere and slide all over the place. Oh yeah, we have this uh, super good upgrade. These missiles now are just weapons. We don't need them as tools to destroy things anymore. He's cut out. Wouldn't mind a different secondary, this one's okay, but I feel like we can find one still more effective. This this these are annoying attacks, please stop. You you stop that. Well my item room. Boss room's actually way over there on the opposite side of this map. Opposite side of this floor. Don't mind if I do. Say, what was our quest? Oh, yeah, not take damage. Yeah, we, we failed that a long time ago. I'm back here. I'm back here. I hate enemies that are annoying and also run away from you. The only things that should be running away from you are treasure goblins. It's not a fun tactic to fight against, is it? That's an annoying turret. Get out of my way. I'm gonna get hit by the super annoying giant turret. I don't I don't much care for this room at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Level up. We're not full health, 10% damage boost. Amazing looter. You can now find higher higher tier items two floors earlier than usual. Including our starting bonus. That seems... Oh, that Oregon just permanently disable our secondary weapon, but that seems not as good. Unless it just disables this secondary weapon and we can find a replacement secondary. In which case, that'd actually be amazing. Then I'll just find a new secondary at some point, but... I'll get, a uh, increased loot tiers. You'll find some interesting stuff. 
Translocator. This seems better. Sounds like it was just a better gun. What do you have? Health shards? I'll buy the health shards. We don't need to restore our HP. We can buy experience. I'm not really down for. Maybe it's actually the best thing you can do. I'm, I'm not into it. But I'd earn my experience old fashioned way. I guess if you have like a credit based build, something you can do, you just get lots of credits, and then if you're not buying items, you can at least buy HP. Buy HP, buy experience. Alright, a little stronger. Hope it seems a little bit stronger. Ah, get away from me. You guys get over here so I can shoot you. I mean to be rude. Demanding. You're actually just running away from me, aren't you? Thank you. Unknown circuit. Reduces range of shots by 10%. Oh, good. Range actually kind of sucks. Shot speed kind of sucks. We don't really have problems with shot speed, so I'm not too worried about it, but the... Just range. Ouch. How are you still alive back there? Thanks for this weapon knock, knocks back. Knocks back. If you, would, if you would please die. And This is super obnoxious. These bullets are so slow, and they take up so much real estate. Come on, I don't have all day to wait for bolts to go across the screen. Look at that guy. That was an obnoxious room, I don't like that at all. Go fight this mini-boss. Oh, you, yeah. We're familiar with you. Now? He has homing missiles? When did he get homing missiles? I don't remember that attack. Ooh. Oh, I'm actually about to die. And all it gave me were these lousy missiles. Go all the way back, pick up some health. And just teleport. Although not really, because our starting room is down here. We just have to walk. And then we can teleport back. HP, HP, HP. HP? 2 HP? Me some of those three drops, I'd appreciate it. Just another one, and I suppose we can buy some. What else are we doing with our money? Pretty lame, but all right, back to a decent amount of HP. Then this floor, I feel like this floor is taking way too long. The map was kind of janky. We had to run all the way down there to get our items. And then run all the way back to Peter Fighter Boss. Up. Left. Up. Right. And boss fight after these guys. We could really level up into some damage upgrades or fine passive damage upgrades. Also, a range upgrade now would be fine because we had a 10% range downgrade. Unless that was only temporary, I had the impression <coughs> it was permanent, though. Invader. Gone. Why don't I just chill behind you and just shoot you? Oh, the, the wall of incredibly slow bullets will catch up to me. There we go. I can just cut out the middlemen there. That was our secondary damage from our secondary weapon, which I think is our main damage output, so we should have to be patient now. I suppose I can throw out some missiles. Rather, he that reflects mi are you kidding me? Apparently that wall reflects missiles. Did not know. We did not ace that at combat. 20% global base damage, yes, please. Cryo freeze. Regular files, and that's a really loud one. Oh, sorry. It's the really annoying one. Floor 4. Is that don't spend any money? Must be don't spend any money. Uh, opportunities lost if you leave the room, though, and I accidentally sprinted through the doorway. So it looks like we're not going to find out. It's, I'll probably spend on this floor anyway. Ow. 
This little range kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's go to our item storage up there. Ooh, that's health storage, which we have not had yet. Fortunately. Probably get some HP. So I'm really surprised we haven't found a secret room. I guess because we have our low range weapon here, it's making it hard to... Making it hard to hit the walls. To... I hate these black hole rooms. Get out of here. Out of my life forever. Unknown circuit? Mysterious circuit. The current room deal cost of fire damage. Maybe I need to stop using these in empty rooms. Uh, 5% It's 5% to regenerate shields after losing them for on kill has yet to proc I've noticed I'm mysterious or guy I'm trying the room seems pretty dangerous but I'll try it anyway Damage yourself, good. Good deal. Can't shoot through the walls, it's cheating. These are really obnoxious enemies, aren't they? Back off a little bit. Just stop. But with the shooting through the walls, I have tiny range. It's become very frustrating. Now this guy, constantly running away. Is there two of them? Oh, I'll be so mad if there's two of them. What are you running from? I mean, obviously me. Why? You have a decent attack. You're not super fragile. You can, you can stand and fight. Have some confidence. What do we get? Destruction module. Again, 40 times base team. That's just the attachment. That's not a consumable. It's always 40 times space damage. You know what? I'm getting tired of not killing things, so I'm gonna sacrifice. For some reason, my head last time it sucks. It's like the second time on this run that we have seen that item for some reason. The first time, I was thinking it's some sort of consumable, not an attachment. It's just permanent 40 times damage. Not 40 times, 40%, additional 40%. It trips me up because it says times 40%, which is clearly not what it's trying to, uh, trying to say. I'm tired of not killing things. So if I die, then I die, but I want to actually kill things, and that makes me less likely to die anyway. Oof, oof, oof. Are you still alive? You can go through the, that wall, but I can't. Come on. This is super annoying. Alright, how much better does my damage feel? Eh, it feels okay. If I don't regret having her death protection. Especially with this decreased range, I'd want to be killing things ASAP. Health shards, we're kind of slacking on health shards. Here's our secret room. Torpedo cannon. There's a single powerful payload able to break down blockages. Versus our... Yeah, sure, why not? No other options in here. Or even, it's even disappearing, so... Yes, health upgrade, please. Here, two less missiles for four more HP. Probably worth it. You have just HP. Wheel, fighter boss. I what hit me? Hey, right. here.
the torpedo's doing a ton more, like a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Pond take damage, short burst of vulnerability. Really like that one over the orbitals. If we get hit, we can just go ham for a little bit. Had the had the father in law. He's visiting. He's visiting this weekend. A fun time. He's out with the wife doing, you know, father daughter things. Yeah, I'm glad we got this fan. We got this fancy fan. I'm glad we have it because he snores so insane. I don't even need missiles. He snores so loud, like so loud. But before with the fan, before we got the fan, it was like she couldn't sleep because the dude was snoring unbelievably loud. Happy to report the fan covers it up. It doesn't cover the kitties. The kitties still like, oh meow meow. Pay attention to me. Love me. Which can of course get very annoying when I'm just trying to sleep and it's like 5 a.m. I'm losing sleep for no reason. These torpedoes are so good. They've been all my life. I don't need missiles, my right click my right click's a way better missile. Oh, cash of mysterious circuits. Pop those now, or should we wait? I'll pop them now. Sabotage, I'm doing damage myself. Lose credits, all good. We got a lot of negative. Lose all energy, weapons are free for 30 seconds. My thoughts like we need a key in there. I got hurt by walking into the shopkeeper, excuse me. Fully loaded mini bot ally launches interceptor darts or fires attacks in your direction. Oh no, that one's sim. Terrible. Fully loaded mini bot ally. Auto can. So I guess he just shoots with us. I like the interceptor darts to protect us. Take more damage, though. Or deal more damage, not take more damage. We, didn't, we do not want to take more damage. Or deal more damage. How much was the other one worth? 30. So we get 7 more credits. We just go back and buy that one as well. So we didn't hit that. We didn't roll that. That negative one. Actually, we're almost there. We didn't roll that. Credit loss would have been okay. These torpedoes are ridiculous. But we're so relaxed now. Just torpedoing everything. Oh, where's the teleporter so I can get over there? Alright. We do this room and we go buy our other droid, our defensive droid. Fire defensive droid, and go fight our boss. Who still? Thank you, droid. Doubles damage crits. The despicable weapon of Thraxian design. It's a range. Range. Seems about to be the same range. That's five HP for a questionably better weapon. We're not really getting any crits, so we don't have any crits-related synergies. So I guess that just gets to stay untaken. Crits aren't doing extra crits aren't doing me any good. All right, buddy, stop hitting me, please. No, just because I run into you, you don't have to don't have to stab me every time I try to give you a high five. Bit of an extreme adverse reaction. I want to talk to somebody about that that temper problem you have. Whereas, I mean, I know it's in your programming, but come on. Oh hi. Do, uh, a lot of like dollar signs you're shooting at me. He's also not taking any damage. Or he wasn't taking damage? I'm confused. About exactly what was happening there. Ooh. I've not seen this boss before. But he's dead. Telekinetic repulsor module. Taking damage triggers telekinetic blast. Damaging enemies and repulsing shots. But we just have a base damage increase. We'll keep that around. Unless they are earnest when they mean times 40% and we actually just keep getting weaker. It'd be ridiculous. But open all containers, even locked ones, and explore all rooms before entering the next floor for a bonus. Uh, not very good bonus. Not a bonus I'm too concerned about. 
I feel like we're spamming missiles, but it's just our energy weapon. It's so good. Which I'm glad we have a good energy weapon because our base weapon is trash right now because we don't have any range. Even these little weak tiny enemies are giving us a little bit of trouble. A major item storage, yes please. A railgun. That's a little bit better range, and honestly, I just want some better range. Probably lower DPS, but if I can hit from further away, then so be it. Yeah, that yeah, range is better. Still not good, but it's better. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a range upgrade. There has to be one somewhere, right? What you got for me? Doesn't give you wings, but it fills up your energy tank. That gives us more shots. Shots, shots, shots. Shot down there. 17 credits. I would just go fight our boss. We have to explore everything for a bonus. What's our bonus? Credits. Don't need them. Key cards. Don't need them. Missiles. Don't need them. I uh, do need to actually aim them. This weapon. Probably important to keep in mind. Come on. Right here. Thanks, uh, Orbital Drone. Protecting me. I need it. Guys, this is super obnoxious. What are you doing up here? Who, who's left? Oh, there's a fire guy up here. And you. We've actually ran out of energy for. We made a boss fight. Yes, please. Answer. Uh, strategically place the bolts to avoid being over overwhelmed. Oh, I hate this one. Yeah, we might have enough energy or enough HP just to tank a puzzle, even with a few mistakes. Ouch! Any more mistakes like that, though? When you sprint, it's not to sprint to get the speed to keep going, but then when you sprint, you get really slidey. Ooh, okay, we leveled up. Five percent crit chance. Now I wish I had that. I kind of wish we took that better crit damage thing. Nope, nope. All right, five percent crit damage. Increase fire rate by ten percent. Thank. You. Mind if I do? Our base weapon is trash. <laughs> Did you see that? Takes long to kill even these basic enemies. That's the splitting enemy, so it's super obnoxious. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop touching me. Appreciate it, shoot at my own robot. Got my paranoid. Apparently there's more HP in there. But I still wanted it. You're going, yeah, keep splitting. I can keep shooting you. more enemies just chilling in places that they're trapped and I have to dig them out in order to fight them and make any progress. I can crit- oh yeah we can crit the torpedoes! Where's crit chance affects torpedoes? That's really good. This is the energy weapon. Uh, I really want that HP upgrade so I'm gonna go all the way around because it looks like I just leads to the boss and by looks like I mean obviously it does. So I'm just going to go all the way around to find that HP upgrade make sure that this run I'm supposed to be Finding and destroying the final seventh floor, probably not final, the seventh floor boss. That was dumb. Your shots are attracted, triples the damage of missiles, increase the damage by 20% and cause your extra eh, increase damage by 20%. I like a damage by 20%, especially if we're about to get more HP anyway. If you don't anything that says do more damage, I'm down for it. Okay, now, walk into obstacles? Nope, okay. I feel like that was part of what the deal said, but if it doesn't, if it's not what it is, it's not what it is. What about these things? Alright, we those things we can smash.
Oh, the torpedoes are gonna be really good here. Didn't stand a chance. I almost feel bad. Credits? No credits over here? I don't know what all we need the credits for. I don't want to be missing any opportunities to buy anything good in the future. Oh. Two max HP, you know, it's probably still worth it. I don't want to pick up any of the other Guilt the Devil Slot items over there. Why don't I come over here? Not where I want to be. my HP back. I'll be on my merry way. Alright. Pick up health shards in here. Any more? Any more good ones? More health shards? Okay. Alright, let's go. Completely the wrong way. We have to go through the mini boss room. Of course, up here. Probably could have just teleported through there faster. Uh, I didn't. Oh, so, well. I feel like we actually are doing some decent damage now. How am I supposed to... Thirty percent global base damage or max health by six. Thirty percent damage. Yes, please. Is this the warden? It is the warden. First kill these guys. I missed with the torpedo. Good for me. Let me energy drink it up just to keep doing some damage to him. And then we just wait. Because now we're out of energy. We don't have any drinks. We just use our kind of lame railgun to do very small amounts of damage. This is going to take approximately forever. Especially with the auto cannon robot not engaging. Important part of the damage package, Mr. Robot. I don't got much else going on, so you gotta help me out. I've had a lot of damage buffs. Railguns. You would expect a railgun to be doing really good damage, right? Not exactly happening, though. Also, out of missiles, aren't they? Be just about dead. Wait for me, Mr. Warden. I don't want to hug. How are you not? There you go, auto cannon. Shoot him now, please. At least. You're gonna be right on top of him. <laughs> Hit him. Alright, he's dead. Uh, damage enemies that damage you. I don't like those. Increase max shield by one, so we can actually get two shields very good. 25% chance to not die when you normally would. It sounds actually pretty good, but I like a double shield. Increase even more damage. Let's go. So floor six this is the first new floor. Real new floor. Buy four items for a lame bonus. We have quite a few shops. Let's go to our item storage. Any new enemies? Things Jumping out to me is new. Our damage does seem pretty good. I'm so happy we have double shields now. Oh, and we have that thing where we have a small chance to regenerate shields anyway. That's a small, probably not important synergy. And now when I kill things, we can get that shield back. Easy room. <laughs> easy. Easy peasy. Shooting through obstacles is super good. Oh, I just walk over the spikes. They don't mind me. Secret room? Increase fire rate and global damage by 10%. Yeah. Yes, please. I would love some range one of these days, but until then... Uh, damage or fire rate 
is good enough. It really takes three shots to kill you little guys. Wasting my time. And we are invulnerable upon taking small damage, so what we can really do is really start going ham. We just walk into enemies and torpedo them point blank, and if they hit me, it's fine. See, we're fine. <laughs> well, that was a little scary. Who is still over here causing problems? They have like little cores or something? What what, what are these enemies? It's a larva. Surprisingly tough and very annoying. Not just HP. No need HP. Ooh. And we're out of energy. Now you play Ring Around the Rosie with the splitters. I don't know why they're called. Oh. I don't know why they're called face rippers to face like splitters. No, they're split face rippers. Torpedo can, grape shot. No, the torpedo can so good. Put on enough energy even to test it out. No, the torpedo can's been killing it for us. Big red button. Be self by two, energy by 40. Requires and destroys your current energy weapon. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Because guess what? We just go over here, trade this out for the one we're going to use anyway. And then pop, increased health and energy for free. Fantastic. Uh, teleporters around here. Teleporter near. Teleport. Teleport. Where I want to be ish. 85 credits is enough to buy some stuff. We find our way into the shop. Tried to do that. It shit me. It shit me. No one else. We still got another shield. Alright, now Dom Shield though, so looking for you. you. Actually survived the torpedo? Amazed. Could use some more. Health shards? I mean, 16 HP is pretty good, but you could always use some more. Range a better primary weapon? Or rapid firing primary weapon? But we need one with good range because we have bad range, so that's why we're using the real gun. What the health shards look like now? Yeah, they're purple. Interesting. Only up to 17 HP? Eh, that's okay. We're just basically unkillable, 17 HP and two shields. Larva. Ah. One. Uh, these are. Do we just like cycle back through the perk tiers? Because these are like crummy perks. 5% chance not to take damage, I suppose. We don't need the healing. Was there one like credits? We definitely don't need that. This is new primaries. You smack missiles. Is that a turbo blaster? A turbo blaster? Oh, beautiful. Alright, that's much better. Right up our alley. And that was basically all of our money. So... I guess we just take off now? Well, it's everything that deals light damage it is a passive... Or a passive, it is an active. Easy. Game, easy life. What do you have for me? Upgraded missiles finally? Finally upgraded missiles. Not that we'd really need it, but we've been on the base missiles the whole time. Oh, much better. Turtle Blaster is much better than the railgun. Good investment. Give me some space here, guys. Give me some space. I know you want to split or whatever. These myriads are pretty tough. Just actually find a secret room? I think so. Lead you to the boss room. I already know the boss room. 
Increase damage by 33%. Smooth speed. I'll just further increase our damage. We have a we have plenty of HP. We have good, we're good on HP. Is there like still an enemy around, or what, what, what am I missing? Oh, hide in the corner. Thanks. You're kind of slow now, though. <laughs> Something to me, probably all the fire I'm running through. So if he could like not run through the fire, that's ideal. Be chaotic room. Oh, we are so slow. Maybe we are too slow now. I guess I do have to go down that way. Teleport. No, we can't because there's no reason to because it's right here. Only four, six. Can I? Uh, come on. Get out of here, these obnoxious teleports have to do. Oh, that is the. Those are the secondary. Turrets, right? Secondary weapon turrets, yeah. Nope. They trigger when you shoot them? Okay, they only trigger when you shoot them. Never mind. I didn't know those kind of turrets existed. Ah, I ran into the fire. Stupid wall here, which just looks like the background, which is one of my main complaints of the game. So, many, so much of the foreground and background blends together. Oh, there's an item in there. Oh. Well, we can just run in here and take some damage and just face tank these guys. Don't me took like actually a quarter of our HP, so maybe it's a terrible idea. Except our invulnerability lasts a little bit longer. Drop some HP in here. I'm not seeing any HP drops. Game. Because I'm just blind? Oh no, it's right there. What is this? Hornet nest. At least a stream of needle. This is better, so I'm gonna just take it. That stats the stats say what the stats say, right? Hell the tape, how much the I don't have enough other. I don't otherwise don't have enough information to go against that. So streaming needles. I'm now doing enough damage, not relying just on our torpedoes. Well, torpedoes are still crazy strong. That's it. Let's go fight our f oh our first new boss, aggressor. He does not sound familiar. Are you like crazy aggressive or something? Right now you're getting your butt kicked. Okay, our first time meeting that boss. I mean, perfect him the first time we saw him without even moving. But not really that not that strong, huh? Not, not that tough. Phasing module. We don't need that. We basically have that passively. A bonus experience up here, yep, a little bit of bonus experience. And on to the seventh floor we can meet our final our seventh floor boss. At least too familiar, we already have that, it's a matter of our last floor. Yeah, we can just try and get a bunch of free health shards. Should give us an HP upgrade, there we go. We're at 13. Unlucky. If you if you if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, we just need to start doing more like that. Except for uh, big obnoxious rooms. Or it's not going to help us at all. Big obnoxious, obnoxious room. Incredibly obnoxious room. At what? He wasn't dead? I thought he was dead. Fire out the way. No, oh, can't, can't say I'm a fan of this room. Nothing up there, I don't think.
Finally over though. Could have been worse. Missiles we have not been using. Our energy weapon is our missiles. This missiles, that means torpedoes, but that's like a missile. I don't know how you differentiate between torpedoes and missiles in like ground-based combat. A real scary attack you have there, sir. Be shame if anything were to happen to you. We smack out. Yeah, sure. We'll just be even a tankier, just obscenely tanky. Don't mind if we do. Already doing good damage. Finally, took us long enough. We had that horrible range issue for the longest time. Who's still? Who's stopped? He did. To be still, child. Energy shield module. Energy can now absorb shot damage, but no invulnerability frames, and we lose our big damage buff, so I have no interest in that. Go the other way, get our item, get our uh, HP upgrade room, and then fight our boss, our mysterious final boss. Who's meeting him is the whole reason why we're even. What? So the whole reason we're here, just meet that guy and kill him. You are impressively strong, the leader. Leader of the myriads. Get to energy converter, no thanks. Oh, that might be actually really useful against the final boss. Because we don't need credits, we can just use them all with energy. That's actually probably a good, a good idea. I'm a genius. What is this up here? Oh, secret room. Yeah, for me. Holy fire, a fiery lance weapon. That'd be nope, but I really like our torpedoes. Leave trail when you sprint. Splinter cannon, five and accurate. I'll just take the passive. Just because we need to sprint a lot, because we're really slow. Might as well get some benefit out of it. I don't like this room. I don't like this room at all. Okay. My HP, HP upgrade down here, absolute. Just run into all the fire. Just run into all the fire I have. All the fire I have all the time. Kill the splitters. I hate that the robot, that the autocan robot just gets caught on whatever wall he can find. Just gets stuck all the time. I almost feel bad for it. Thank you. Open. open. Uh, humble bundle small. I'll just pop it open. Get a. Do we get an HP upgrade out of it? Fantastic. A bundled medium. Another health shard. And another wormhole journey. Which I, I don't need. We don't need to teleport anywhere. Take our free. Yeah, sure. 26 HP is pretty good. Even though we do miss our one of our shields. We still have a shield, so I'll we'll live. I figure out how to get to this boss room. We don't have a full map actually. Oh yeah, no, it'll shoot crazy bullets at me all the time. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Took like six damage. Oh, hopefully that shield thing didn't ruin everything. Eight HP for one shield. The shields are really, really, really good. He's still alive. Shooting at me. And I walked on some spikes and took damage. Infuriating. Which I'm gonna have to like go all the way back and pick up a lot of HP. Obnoxious. Well, that's what I get for making these choices that I've made in my life. Alright, why are you alive? That's a really obnoxious enemy. Back up to almost full HP.
Transports you to another dimension, which reveals chefs. They produce damage. 10 seconds deal double damage. Game detail? Does that just like give us a map? It does. Okay, good, perfect. Uh Current room you take reduced damage. I might actually use that against the boss. Oh, double damage is very tempting as well. Okay, well, I wanted to go fight the boss. Not sure where that is. So. Uh, just have to go. Wait, wait, we, we have a map. I'm I literally just bought a map. Let's go. Where am I? Where am I? I'm there, okay. Now we're. Totally losing myself on the map again. Now, you know what? Forget the teleporters. We're just gonna walk. We just have to walk around. We just have to go over here, go down through the mini boss, boom, there's a boss fight. There we go. <laughs> Ignore the teleporters. They're not, they're not working for you. The 10 seconds old damage is really tempting. I'm just afraid that 10 seconds level damage is not going to be good enough. And then I just kind of die. Wow, he hit me. The game, the game is picking up in difficulty a little bit. Oh, we keep taking damage. And I'm missing my second shield. Alright, mini boss, let's go. Oh no, this isn't even a real boss. It's, it's, mini, it's a rebound. There goes our shield. And there goes our HP. What if I. Nope, nope, my weapons are disabled. All our weapons are disabled. Nah, I love taking tons of damage. It's great. That was, that was good. That's a good time for me. 20% crit chance upgrade though is solid. Go heal though. It's so far away. The mini boss up there as well. Well, the shop. You know, let's go up there. Let's see what see what's going to happen up there. It's our last floor. We can take our time a little bit. I know it's been a long run. That's how this game tends to work. But it's like the finale probably. So suck it up, Buttercup. Run from me. It's cowardly and embarrassing. It's just a... One of these? Okay, it is just one of those. That was an easy fight. You get for me. Plasma shotgun? No, dude, torpedoes. Where's that? Robot shot. Builds things with close to poison. Fire shots have a chance to slow enemies when speed and fire rate. Uses fusion defense shield to slow nearby enemy bolts. That sounds really good. Can't afford it. I don't want to come back. What about what about you? Do you give me any money? You do not. You just have missiles. We'll take corrosive bot orbital man. Still good. Still good pickup. And now we, now we endeavor to the boss room, the real boss room. It's only a couple rooms away. Very exciting for it. Ugh. Why does that be one of these rooms? These rooms are obnoxious. Alright, we are we all set? Are we done? Dudes over here in this corner. Take them down. Now we're done, now we're done, so I'm leaving. Go right into the secret room? Yeah, sure, why not? It's gonna be really good for us to spend a lot of HP. And none of them are good enough, so I'm leaving. I was considering the making us smaller, because they're kind of fat right now. That's a lot of that's a lot of HP to spend. Oh, Battalion Sidmeria, is that the upgraded version? I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm so impressed. 
right, here we go. Last room. Oh, there, yeah, just a little bunch of stuff. How we need? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Terminus. You're now taking less damage. You are code defend. Code Lyoko that I just dropped. Uh, hi. I am, I am unsure. Our objective here, I guess, killing these side dudes. If any second now, they're gonna die. And them so much. Why won't he die? This is some like sick joke that they're just invulnerable. I feel like damage wise, they're relatively strong. I'm so shocked these enemies are being this obnoxious. And we're out of torpedoes, at least sad. Expected to happen, you have a limited number of shots in your secondaries, so. Of course, they weren't going to last forever. Oh, hi, hey, lots of bullets. Shooting. Very close enough to actually deal some damage. I did, like, no damage, and now to kill these things again. Oh my, this is going to take. This is going to be a half hour boss battle. It's going to take an eternity. <laughs> cancel, cancel my 3 o'clock, Judith. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy. I shouldn't be all upon him, even if we are invincible. For brief period. Okay, good. We've done like one eighth of his HP in damage. Solid. It's all time. He's over there somewhere. So we have one less core shooting at us. Oh my. Why are the cores so tough? Why are these taking? We have decent damage too. Oh my god! I ran into that bullet. It appears to be a battle of attrition and mental fatigue, which is not what I signed up for. I shoot him like ten more times, and he pops the, off another shield, becomes invincible, and I have to deal with another sub boss. The idea is not that bad. The execution, I'll make them a little bit. Weaker. This is tedious. You're, there's a fine line between difficulty, tedium, and frustration. Like the relationship between pressure, temperature, and that other one, density. That other, you know, physical property. And this 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 game is is really, really toned line here in a bad way. Oh yeah, no, just be really obnoxious stacks, it's fine. Happy we have the reduced damage. I imagine we might be dead without it. I'm not sure how much reduced damage actually is. Oh, Overrolls and blocking those shots. We'll get in here and actually do a little bit of damage, but that's really annoying attacks. Maybe I just need to get to the side back there. But when it does that obnoxious attack, I can just hit right there. Oh, and then get shot in the face anyway. Alright, Terminus, you're kinda almost dead. Get on the fire. Maybe the fire is like OP, secretly OP, and does some damage. Maybe not. Really wish you weren't so slidey when you're sprinting. At least we don't have to worry about any more cores, now it's just Terminus himself. Almost forgot we had an auto cannon friend. Alright, let's make big old circles and dodge the bullets. Play dodge the stuff on Terminus. Okay, that was a bad time to dodge. We're invulnerable, get out of there. And he's dead. Kill super final boss. Actually, is the super final boss kind of obnoxious? You, it, it, I thought that the cores were going to continue forever. I was going to get really annoyed. That just like we do one twelfth of his HP and damage, and he summons a new core. But those, uh, it was only a few of those. So then it stopped, and we just shoot him in the head. So yeah, not that bad. And yet they threw that head in the incinerator anyway. Well, I'm we got through Star Wars. I wanted to see those final two levels. I wanted to see that final boss in particular, 
and we did it. So that was the that's it for Star Wars Rogue. Unless we want to come back to it later, maybe get some more of the a couple more unlocks. We still, I guess, we have like one item unlocked, a couple incredibilities unused, a couple enemies locked. But for the most part, that was Star Wars Rogue. Thanks for watching. Really like if you enjoyed the series, uh, subscribe for more. Follow my Twitch that because it's you. I'll see you next time.